I've seen them both use that, so I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll have the names fixed in a minute here, but either way, it's Zolane versus uh, Zolane's Mario versus a Diddy Kong. Okay, character-wise, Diddy Kong has the advantage. Well, yeah, we, we all know about Diddy Kong, but Mario is actually very capable of uh, playing this matchup well. Their effective ranges are very similar to each other. They're, they both have strong throw games. Mario has a projectile that can deal with Diddy Kong. He can handle, he can handle banana stuff. Oh my god! He goodness. didn't use his second jump. Yeah, he didn't use his second jump and didn't charge his up B at all. Just huge mistake here by yeah it's Kalix it's Kalix that's the problem with Diddy Kong um, people just say that he's the strongest character but they forget that he has like one of the w uh, worst recoveries you can just uh, gimp, gimp him easily yeah yeah you, you can't gimp Diddy Kong and it's, it's one of the big issues he has granted th that doesn't necessarily mean he isn't the best but it's the, the things people need to do to be able ha to handle Diddy Kong oh gets that run in F smash nice stuff by Kalex. Okay, that's nice. Oh, that was a really good cape by his Yeah. Way. And you can see Kalex has only taken a total of like 30% this match. The, that SD essentially defining his situation right now. Yeah, it's going to hunt him forever. Well, I mean, if he takes this stock soon, it, it might not end up mattering. Uh, it's definitely doable. He almost read that roll, but didn't manage to punish it in time. That forward air, another of Diddy's deadly arsenal of moves. Very strong spacing attack. Oh, almost managed to get that down air. Zolane is slowly racking up that percentage. And Kalex having trouble killing right now. He, he could just do a rising up air or something. Adds up with an up smash. Nice. Okay, so right. convincing lead with the percentage. Yeah, but Kalex still, he's racked up 150% to just less than 80 so far. So at least as far as damage goes, he's doing okay. This is, it's the SD that's really been the deciding factor. Yeah. Oh, th that was a chance for a grab, didn't take it. There's that down tilt, something that... The down okay. tilt, um, you, can, you can combo out of it easily. Yeah, and it's also uh, very very good to use against shielding opponents. Yeah. It's one of the few moves that is like that. Uh, that's one of the big things about Diddy Kong. Oh, big opportunity by Zolane wasted. Should have gone for a back throw. Okay, that was like... I didn't know why he went with the up B. Oh, dash attack there. No, no shield from Kalex. Oh, the barrel exploding against the stage and Kalex. That's, that's the problem with Diddy Kong. Another one, yeah. Well, an unfortunate first match for Kalex. Essentially, two huge moments defining, <laughs> costing him the whole match. After he honestly outplayed Zolane throughout most of it, but when it comes down to it, he wasn't able to survive. Yeah, the SD just uh, made made the competition way way. Uh, Harder on uh, Kalex. Yeah, and he was coming back, but it came down to another botched recovery. Now I wonder if he's going to consider... Wait, Villager? I didn't know he actually plays this character. I think he plays Ganondorf and he plays Diddy Kong. I, I know about Ganon for sure. I oh, he's doing it. He's I don't I don't think this is a good matchup. No, probably not. Mario's combo capabilities and his speed against Ganondorf. But notice he picked Smashville. Uh, Kalex is, a, uh, from what I've seen, is very good at edge canceling, and Ganondorf can gain some good mobility with using the upper platform here. I don't know why he didn't go for Diddy Kong again. He wasn't doing bad at all. No, but he might just be more comfortable with Ganondorf. And he figures, you know what? I'm hitting this guy a lot, and if I hit him a lot with Ganondorf, yeah, I'm probably Ganondorf gonna kill can rack up way too much damage. Oh wow! Nice usage of that reverse up air. He went for another one. Yeah, he's using that down air to shield himself on his way in. Now Ganondorf, though, he does have a worse recovery than uh, one of the worst recoveries out there. Yeah, he tried to run and uh, flame choke from the other side. I think Zolin is playing much better than the other match. He, he tried have... <laughs> an up tilt. I yeah. think that was just an up smash attempt. Okay. That would have been a potential SD. Uh, Zolin has been doing th that type of recovery, so I think on his part at least that's intentional. I wouldn't go for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I understand. He seems to be a riskier type of player. Oh, he went for that F-Smash, got punished by Zolane's F-Smash, and... The counter pick is not working for him. I right. mean, character-wise. Well, nice neutral air there, but that's not going to be enough. 
should look out for the side Bs. You know, the, um, it's, it can catch the player even if he's shielding. Yeah, it, I mean, it is a grab, so. Yeah. Oh, that up smash. So little recovery. It's very slow on startup, but its recovery is basically just not there. Nice usage of the down B. Look. Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice up here. Yep, the, the classic Eddie spike. Shout out to you, Eddie Howells. From what I see, these are from, from the best characters that we have here. I mean, the best players. They're doing pretty well. Kalex, oh, it's Dick Jason with the down B. Oh, he wanted that up smash. Kalex on a roll right now. So scary. All these boots being tossed around by Ganondorf. Oh, he was looking for a down air opportunity, maybe. Oh, barely dodged that. Zolian's punish game is not that good. No, it's that's his a, problem. Yeah, it's been a huge issue for him since uh, yeah. since the match against uh, Ionex. I, I forgot I forgot the name exactly, but Axion, Axion. He's not taking stocks easily. Oh no! Huge punish opportunity here. This is the jab. Ganondorf's jab, one of the worst jabs out there. There's that boot. Mario off stage. Oh, puts him underneath the stage. Stage spike, and Kalex have, takes it. Yeah. I have problem with the six spikes. They're, they're even I, if, even if I see them from like miles away, I can't recover from them. Uh, you know what was tricky with that one though? It's uh, the grab animation from Ganondorf lasts such a long amount of time. Yeah, you're preparing you can't, for it. And you're you like, can't time it. it. It can be tricky. Yeah. So Kalex, now I wonder if he's gonna stick with Ganondorf. He did fine with him. I honestly, he's done fine with both of his characters. So whatever he does in this third game is probably gonna be okay. It's just you know. I think Diddy Kong was his best bet. He's going with Reef Trainer. He plays her? I'm not sure. Uh, is this a troll? Yeah, it's. I think it's Kalex being Kalex. So it's 1 1 right now. So whoever takes this game wins the match, right? Uh, rest in peace. What? Kalex. <laughs> Why go little Mac? Uh, you notice he put the tag RIP, right? Yeah, but... Uh, uh, Kalex, he's got an ulterior motive here. They, oh my goodness, what? If Zolain knows how to deal with little Mac, then this, this Kalex get, can't do anything. This is, this is going to get very ugly. Yeah, little Mac, definitely one of the most fragile characters in this game. Oh, nice usage of the up tilt there. Something the other Macs we've seen today haven't been doing so often. <laughs> It seems like Kalex has some sort of read on how Zolane plays. He seems to have some confidence in this choice. Okay, nice that's up fun. smash, sweet spotted. <laughs> Yo, Kalex. Oh, there's that KO punch. I think it can kill him this percentage, or maybe at 20? A little bit higher, and he's going to be able to. He's going to try to read for it. Yeah, he's, he's okay, Zorin is uh, now understanding that sh he should go on the edges. Okay, he's done. Mad respect. <laughs> Mad respect. That was domination. He made the choice. He just knew something about how Zolane plays. I think, he, I think Zorin doesn't have an experience against Little Mac. It doesn't seem like it. And I, I don't know if Kalex felt he saw something in Zolane's playstyle that worked in that advantage. But he just, he just went ham. He just threw everything at him. And I, I got to give him his props.